Right now, the importance of pesky bugs. Why experts are concerned with declining numbers. Yeah, we got showers and thunderstorms today. Less tomorrow. Dry starting the work week. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now this morning, Saturday. Greg is here. We're yep. going to get a start with a check on our weather. A little rainy coming little in this rainy. morning. Well, right now it's cloudy. Most of the areas are clouds. As you can see, we'll show the visible, well, actually we'll show the webcam stuff right now. And it's cloudy. And that's for most of the areas going to see this cloud condition starting off. Uh, as you saw, the current conditions are 65 degrees right now. We got uh, a few showers in the area, but overall conditions are looking pretty good. Radar, as you see right now, thunderstorms. Really staying to the south, we're going to see this activity begin to pick up later today um, as we get to the afternoon hours. Futurecast kind of shows that right now. We're showing thunderstorms and showers coming up, but overall we're going to see conditions improve by tonight and then a lot less activity tomorrow as we go on. And as we go on, you see Sunday less activity and continues to go on Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> and this continues to go on. But the overall pattern is that we're going to actually get a lot better as we go on to the next beginning of the work week. So, things to remember today, the big thing is that we have showers and thunderstorms today, fewer tomorrow, and a dry and warm start of the work week with the next chance coming by the time we get to Friday. All right, sounds good, Greg. Thank you very no much. Problem. All right, to our top story this morning, we've already told you about monarch butterflies being endangered internationally and bees in the need of our help. But if you realize you're slapping mosquitoes or swatting flies away less frequently, it's because we're losing all kinds of bugs to habitat loss, invasive species, and more human causes. Arman Rahman has more on what's zapping the bugs and why it's important that we step in and help. I have noticed that I haven't been bitten. Like, I have not had as many mosquito bites this year. That may seem like a relief over the summer, but hate to clip your wings. Well, a lot of people would think that's a great thing. It probably isn't. <laughs> UW entomologist Daniel Young lives to net and study bugs. Insects are extremely important for the way ecosystems function. But worldwide, they've been on a steep decline. There would be bees and beetles and wasps all over those flowers. Now I may see one or two things. And garden expert Lisa Briggs says that comes back to bite us. I want to say around 60% of our food requires pollination for things like apples or peaches or, you know, that kind of thing. It's going to, it could have a pretty devastating effect. Some efforts have been made, but Young says human development has eliminated so much habitat that restored areas like Wisconsin prairies are often too isolated. We've lost a lot of our natural corridors that the groups of species use to find one another for mating, and then populations get smaller and, and can't maintain their genetic uh, diversity in those situations. Another big problem, but one we can help with, is being thoughtful about your bug spray and which species are in the line of fire. How to use a pea shooter instead of a bazooka because most insecticides are broad spectrum, so they're going to kill anything. And most importantly, educate yourself and others about how important it is the bugs don't buzz off. So understanding that insects are an integral part of nature, if, if you want to go out and enjoy nature, be ready to understand that you're in their territory as well. And of course, planting more flowers to attract pollinators is always a plus. Professor David Young also says you can buy and plant prairie seed mixes. He says these efforts won't right all the wrongs we've done to the bugs, but it may save enough to make a difference in the long run. Okay, to more to local news this morning. Three months after it happened, homicide charges are now filed against a 20-year-old from Madison. Isaiah Miller is now charged with one felony count of homicide by negligent handling of a dangerous weapon. Back in May, 19-year-old Marshall Iverson was killed inside a home in Blue Mounds. Miller had admitted to accidentally firing a round of an AR-15 rifle that ultimately killed Iverson. The gun was bought legally and was owned by one of the people in the home at the time. The Dane County Medical Examiner is still working this morning to identify a body that was found yesterday in Lake Mendota right off the shore from the Union Terrace. UWPD says a passerby found the person in the water and called 911 just after 6 a.m. A department spokesperson says investigators are looking into when and why the man went into the water, but they do not believe there is a danger to the rest of campus. 
New video released by the Waukesha Police Department shows a high speed chase earlier this week that ended in a pit maneuver. Prosecutors say the driver admitted to multiple crimes saying he was quote doing like speed racer off the crack end quote. Speeds reached upward of 80 miles per hour in a 35 zone and around 115 miles per hour on I-94. Spike strips were used to slow the car down and police were able to spin the car out bringing it to a stop. Police say the car was reportedly stolen out of Illinois. Two people in Madison are in the hospital after a rollover crash involving a stolen vehicle. It happened at the intersection of Atwood Avenue and Elmside Boulevard. Police say a small SUV was speeding when it swerved to avoid a head-on collision and flipped. Two people were found with non-life-threatening injuries. Officers say the vehicle was stolen Thursday night. In Sun Prairie, three families are out of their homes after two cars crashed into an apartment building Thursday night. Police say the two vehicles were driving the same direction on Highway 151 near Windsor Street when one of the drivers hit the other. Authorities say one of them was driving drunk at the time and was arrested for DUI and likely more charges as the investigation continues. One person was hospitalized, but they are expected to be okay. Dane County has dropped back to a medium level of COVID-19 community spread. The news comes just a week after it was bumped to the high level after hospitalizations in the county slightly rose. Right now, the seven day average is 142 new cases per day. 81 people are currently hospitalized with COVID-19. To campaign 2022 now, Adam Steen, the assembly candidate who tried to unseat Speaker Robin Voss, is looking for another chance. He announced that he is filing a write-in campaign for the fall. But even with former President Trump's backing, the question is how successful that bid will be. Steen was generally thought of as a long-shot candidate who came close to unseating the powerful assembly speaker. But can he do it again while his name isn't even on the ballot? Well, UW-Milwaukee political scientist Mordecai Lee says it's possible, but Steen will have to do some work. A bump that we saw in the turnout in the partisan primary earlier this month, I think we can call it the Trump bump. In other words, people who generally don't vote in partisan primaries. So he says the trick is to get those voters to turn out. Now, a traditional Trump voter is someone who votes a little infrequently, so maybe in a presidential contest, but not in a down ballot race like this one. So Steen has to motivate those voters who are Trump aligned, but might, might not think to vote in the midterms. And last year, members of Moms on a Mission stood outside East High School almost every day for eight months during the school lunches school's lunch period. The goal was to prevent fights and other safety issues. This year, they're hoping to do it again and to do it better. Right now, group leaders are looking for more volunteers to staff the shifts. They say you don't have to be a mom to join, but you do have to be a community member who cares about kids and their mental health. MMS SD spokesperson Tim Lemon says the group has made a real impact at East. So the district is on board. When we were able to coordinate and collaborate with this uh, parent group, um, it, it really stopped everything in its tracks. Uh, getting out in the community and, and, and working with uh, these kids and helping them uh, resolve their conflicts without violence. Members plan to meet with the superintendent next week to talk about other ideas for student safety. A new food option is coming to a place where it is badly needed, Janesville's South Side. Sustainability is a storefront that plans to sell sustainable items and fresh fruits and veggies. It will be located along Center Avenue on the south side of town. The owner of the store recently moved to the area where she says she struggled to find healthy options. This is her effort to try and stop what's become a food desert in that part of Janesville. We were constantly having to go to the north side of town for everything, and I'm like, there's nothing down here to get any, anything. We didn't want it to be like that. We're like, there's got to be a better way for this, and I'm hoping that maybe we can be the start of that. Two grocery stores on the city's south side have closed in the last three to four years. Sustainability plans to open in early September. And food pantries in Dane County are getting some help keeping their shelves stocked after the county board approved a $2 million grant program. 
Pantries are seeing higher levels of demand right now, and Dane County Executive Joe Parisi says this program will help keep them well stocked. To be eligible for the grants, the pantry must be a charitable, non-exempt organization focused on addressing food insecurity. A second part of the program will help the Badger Prairie Needs Network buy a truck to transport surplus food from locations across the county. Still ahead, a look at this weekend's Badger Athletics fest festivities, including the red and white volleyball scrimmage. We're talking with Brian Lucas of UW coming up next. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian with the forecast coming up. Call for action only on News 3 Now. The price of gold is at a seven-year high. Get top cash on the spot for your gold at Diamond Select. Cash in today while the price of gold is high. Don't miss out. Get instant cash for your gold today at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. Madison Magazine does it again. The Best of Madison winners list is out, and we're celebrating with the Best of Madison Taste Party Monday, August 29th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Edgewater. Enjoy music and meet some of this year's winners, plus sample local food and drinks. Log on to madisonmagazine.com for the list of local vendors attending and order your tickets. It's Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Taste Party Monday, August 29th at the Edgewater. Get your tickets now. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer. The Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here. So stop by your Ford dealer today and check out great offers on select Ford vehicles. Then discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% APR financing for 66 months. At USA Insulation, we fix hot homes. Over 7 out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home. You need better insulation. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. If Tim Michaels is governor, here's what reproductive health care would look like in Wisconsin. Providing abortions? A felony. Exceptions in cases of rape or incest? None. Here's what Michael says to Wisconsin women who get pregnant after being raped. To ask her to go through the birth is not unreasonable. Tim Michaels is a radical and divisive politician coming for your rights. Wisconsin women deserve better. Vote no on Tim Michaels. From a diamond engagement to a diamond anniversary and everything in between, we shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. At Diamond Select, we also fix, reset, and remake jewelry too. Diamond Select in downtown Stoughton. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And we had a little bit of a change in locations this morning. I'm outside of the Agora Art Fair, which is going to be starting at 10 this morning until 5 p.m. Rain or shine, which is good news for us because we have been dealing with a bit of showers earlier this morning. But as of right now, we're taking a little bit of a break, though we are seeing a bit of overcast for us as we're taking a look at what we're going to be seeing for us. Now, as we take a look at our outside, as of right now, some overcast here in Madison. but. Right now, 65 degrees for us. Could see some showers, but they're really going to be just some spot of showers that's going to be hanging out for us. But it's going to be off and on throughout the rest of the morning hours and into our afternoon. Some thunderstorms are possible, but again, it will be isolated. Now, taking a look at our radar as of right now, we can see that low, which is set up just near central Iowa, which is funneling in some showers and storms into northern Illinois and just outside of Madison as of right now. So we are mainly on a dry side, but definitely keep the rain gear nearby as we take a closer look 
look at what we're seeing here in our radar. We can see just outside north of Madison and to the northwest, some showers are starting to fall apart. And what we're seeing in the three hour future track, we'll see a bit more of some rain developing, potentially again some thunderstorms, but it's mainly going to be just east of Madison. But we could see some of that around here as well. Now, over the last 24 hours, we did see some healthy amounts of rainfall, especially areas near Sauk County and outside of Platteville in Janesville as well. We were close, ranging from about a third of an inch to about three inches for some areas that saw the severe thunderstorms from last night. Taking a look at our surface map, this is the load that's bringing in the rain for us and that cold front, which is going to be right behind it. It's leading behind this warm front, which is pushing in throughout the northern parts of Wisconsin, and we're going to start to see some more showers and potentially thunderstorms throughout the course of the day, but just not going to be very constructive throughout the rest of the evening as well. But we could still see, once again, through our certain hours of some showers or some thunderstorms. Our temperatures will stay within the lower 70s, so it's going to feel rather comfortable as it does as of right now. Now, taking a look at what else we're going to be seeing moving in throughout the rest of what we're seeing for our 10 day forecast. As we wrap things up, we are going to be looking at a few things we'll need to know on and off showers, but it will be foggy and dry through the midweek. But switching through the 10 day, what we're going to see after today going into tomorrow, we have a stretch of dry weather going into next week until we get into about our Thursday and our Friday as well. Again, for this weekend, our shower and storm chances are best for today. We're going to dwindle out by the time we get into tonight. And as we head into our Sunday, may see a couple of pop up showers, but overall, we're going to stay rather dry. So Shane, as of right now, again, the message is rain or shine head to the Agora Art Festival or Fair, which is going to be in effect for us until 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. as well. And right now, it's pretty gorgeous out, not very humid, nice little breeze, very comfortable. So head on down at 10 o'clock and definitely come out and see what the <laughs> Fitchburg people have got to show. That's right, Julian. Hey, we had Greg, we got Julian, we've got you guys covered <laughs> on your weekend. Julian, thank you very much. Have fun out there. Yeah, thank you. All right, we'll get back to Julian in a little bit. Badger Athletics gearing up for the fall season. This weekend, they've got a couple big events that are happening to get fans excited for the season. And here to talk more about how you can take advantage is Brian Lucas. Brian, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on nice and early yet again. Uh, so today we have the highly anticipated red and white scrimmage. Can you tell folks a little bit more about this event? Yeah, the National Championship Volleyball team back in action today. Um, fans can can get to the field house in a little more than a little less than three hours. Um, gates open at 11. Fans can have a chance to have their picture taken with that NCAA trophy from last year. And then the action starts at noon with the red white scrimmage. Very cool. Yeah, now we talked, you just mentioned, you know, the reigning champs, they're heading into the season ranked third, even though they won. You know, there's some dispute about that, but some new faces coming in to this season for the team this year. You know, Dana Retke is no longer a part of the squad. So what can we expect from, from the team coming in to year 2022? Yeah, you talked about it. Dana Retke, also Sydney Hilly, two names that were synonymous with Wisconsin volleyball for a number of years. Um, but, you know, Kelly Sheffield has, has a history of putting out great teams. Um, the Big Ten is, is the best conference in the country, and, and we expect um, to be right up there again, like you said, ranked third uh, in the country, heading into the, pre, heading into the season with names like um, Devin Robinson, Anna Smirk, the um, most outstanding player of that uh, Final Four and NCAA championship run last year. So a lot of excitement uh, heading into this season. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, how do you think days like today help the program and help get fans excited? You know, they, they can come out, kind of see the team early before they get into the regular season. What does that do for the program? Yeah, you know, the Fieldhouse is the best atmosphere in college volleyball. Um, sells out on a regular basis. So the atmosphere is tremendous. Um, it's great for fans, uh, families with kids, but also great for the team. You know, we, we mentioned there's some, some new faces this year, and it's kind of a warm-up. You know, there's no exhibition games in college volleyball. So this is sort of a, a dress rehearsal for the regular season that starts next, next Friday. Yeah, next Friday, it's coming up soon. I was just looking at some tickets, trying to see. I went to Marquette. Always a big, uh, you know, moment on the schedule, trying to catch that one. Anything else that uh, you want fans to know about before the big day today? 
Like I said, uh, gates to the field house open at 11. You can get your, your picture taken with the championship trophy. Action starts at noon. And you brought up Marquette. That's actually the home opener on September 2nd. And there will be a uh, banner raising, a championship banner raising that day. And then another match we're really looking forward to is September 16th at the Cole Center against Florida, um, trying to wow. break the NCAA attendance record for, for women's college volleyball. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm sure we'll have a ton of coverage of that leading up to that event. Brian, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to see you tomorrow talking about some football events, right? Exactly. Yep. Tomorrow, uh, Badger football practice uh, open to open to the public starting at 3.30. All right, great. Well, we will talk to you tomorrow morning and get all the information about that. Thanks for joining us. Yep, no problem. All right, great stuff there from Brian Lucas. Still to come this morning, the latest on the fallout of the raid of Donald Trump's home. What information could be made public? And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper's back with three things to watch when we get back. Check out my Playscape two-piece sectional. The $12.99 price tag makes it great. The two colors and five decorative pillows makes it greater. The comfy pop-up sleeper with Baba Beatick memory foam makes it greater. -er -er. Get Bob's discount. Greater. -er -er. Culligan Water delivers. From your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Pre-rinsing your dishes? You could be using the wrong detergent and wasting up to 20 gallons of water. Skip the rinse with Finish Quantum. Its Active Lift technology provides an unbeatable clean on 24-hour dried-on stains. Skip the rinse with Finish to save our water. It's dangerous up here, and it's no fun shopping around for a reputable contractor. I've built my company on the promise to treat our customers like we would our own family. That means an honest, no-pressure sales experience, expert craftsmanship, and a lifetime guarantee of our work. We know Gutter Shutter is the best system for you and your home, and we'd love to show you how it can keep you safe and off that ladder forever. So call us or visit us online to set up your free estimate, and we can show you what Gutter Shutter and the Larson Home Experience is all about. The Tempur-Pedic Breeze makes sleep feel cool. So no more night sweats, no more nocturnal baking, or polar ice cap air conditioner mode, because the Temper Breeze transfers heat away from your body so you feel cool night after night. Experience the mattress ranked number one in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power three years in a row. And right now, save up to $700 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes, certainly. You know, we got some brand new woohoo. Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh yeah. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high-tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4imprint for certain. At Bachman Pools and Spas, we have 25 hot tubs on display. Several models available for immediate delivery. For a limited time, all new hot spring spas come with a revolutionary freshwater salt system for free. That's a $1,200 value. You owe it to yourself to experience soft, natural, healthy water. Hurry in to take advantage of special 0% interest for 60 months. Plus, get a free freshwater salt system. Relax. It's Bachman's. <laughs> My Blake dining set, table in six chairs or table four chairs and bench in three finishes in dining height or counter height with Bob's discount only $5.99. Now, how am I going to tie my shoes? Get Bob's discount. Yeah, we're looking at uh, mostly cloudy conditions right now outside, 65 degrees. We're going to have a few showers in the area, but uh, right now the coverage is pretty sparse out there. We should see that increase here as we go on this afternoon. So things you got to know as we go on showers and thunderstorms today, best shot will be this afternoon through early evening. Fewer showers tomorrow, less cloud cover, warmer tomorrow, and then a dry and warm start to the first half of the work week with temperatures probably getting up to the low 80s, average is 78. The next shot of rain comes by the end of the work week. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Well, there's plenty to be watching on TV nowadays between movies and television. Our Will Loper's got the latest three things you need to watch. Six 
some steps in setting healthy boundaries and locked my dad online. He's never really been there for me when I needed him, and I'm done with that. New to rent or buy on digital is the movie I Love My Dad. Did you delete your profile? Kind of the main way I was uh, staying in touch with you. My ex blocked me one time, and I just started a different page under a different name. I'll check it all the time. She never even knew. <laughs> I just started a different page under a different name. I met someone. Pen Oswalt stars as a dad who sets up a fake profile in a misguided attempt to stay connected with his son. Soup. So, how's it? So, how's it going? Good. This is creepy as This was your idea. That was my ex-girlfriend. This is your child. I Love My Dad is available to rent for $6.99 on Video On Demand platform. <laughs> Genetics-wise, you basically have a wild animal living in your house. Yes, they have their attitude, but if you want, you can teach a cat to do anything. Newly streaming on Netflix is the documentary Inside the Mind of a Cat. Cat research is definitely lagging behind the dog, but now we're seeing an explosion of cat science. Find out the science behind and just what's going through the mind of a cat in this doc. If it's my cat, 90% of the time it's food. One benefit of whiskers, they tell a cat how small a hole she can fit through. If you want your cat to like you, one of the very first things you can do is the slow blink. Inside the Mind of a Cat is streaming on Netflix now. I love the glitz. I love the glamour. Hello. And newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is a third season of Making the Cut. The winner of Making the Cut will receive one million. Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn once again host the show where designers compete to become the next big fashion brand. I want to take a risk and push boundaries. The pressure is hitting me one bad look after the next. Season 3 of Making the Cut is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. Make it amazing. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. All right, lots of good stuff out there. Coming up next on News 3 Now this morning, legal fights on abortion across the country. We got more on the continued fallout of the overturn of Roe v. Wade. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. When you know what it takes to raise the best cattle, then you know Hy-Vee is the place to go for the best steaks. Highest standards around, like none other. 100% USDA choice and prime beef. You can taste the difference. So enjoy your Hy-Vee steak this weekend. You've earned it. the time to switch to Spectrum Internet. America's leading internet provider just got even faster, with speeds now starting at 300 megabits per second. Faster speeds to game, faster speeds to stream, faster speeds to work or learn from home, all with 99.9% .9 network reliability. Get Spectrum Internet for just $49.99 a month, plus a free modem and free online security software. Call 877-906-9192. Add advanced Wi-Fi to get enhanced security for your home network, automatically blocking outside threats to your devices. If it's connected, it's protected. So no matter what you do online, you can do it faster, safer, and more reliably with Spectrum. Now is the time to switch. Get Spectrum Internet with faster speeds for the same great price, just $49.99 a month with starting speeds of 300 megabits per second. Visit Spectrum.com to find out more or call 877-906-9192. A new Chevy is the smart way to hit the open road this summer. The smart way to road trip and seek new adventures. Go a little farther this summer in a new Chevy. Find new get up and go, find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2022 Equinox models. Plus, get 0% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Belco Factory Direct. 
What does that mean? It means no middleman, no overpriced, underperforming windows. Factory Direct means getting what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank. It means when you buy one window, you'll get one free. Yes, free. It means quality craftsmanship, custom designs, and a lifetime warranty. Most importantly, it means a team of window professionals dedicated to one thing above all, your delight. Buy one window, get one free. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELTCO. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture. Right now, the deadline the Justice Department is facing with the affidavit on Donald Trump's raid. And we have showers and thunderstorms today, fewer tomorrow. It looks dry for the start of the work week. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now this morning, Saturday. Before we get to news this morning, we're going to get a check outside with our forecast. Greg, how's it looking out there? Actually, it's not looking too bad. We still have cloud cover in effect right now. You can see the sky cam cloud cover. A few showers out there, but overall, it's not that widespread this morning. South wind of 8 right now. Dew points holding it in the low 60s. So you see radar coverage right now. We're starting to see a few more pull up from Iowa into Illinois, but overall, most of the areas are still seeing a few showers here and there, but uh, coverage pretty quiet. That'll increase, obviously, we get in this afternoon. So today, we got showers and thunderstorms today. Better shot this afternoon through early evening. Fewer showers tomorrow. Less cloud cover, dry and warm the first half of the work week, probably getting back up into the 80s as you look at the 10-day. Cooler today, but then we get back to about the low 80s. Average right now is 78 with our next shot of rain coming in towards the weekend or towards the end of the work week. And next weekend looks like a little bit of iffy too, but overall doesn't look as bad as this week there. All right, Greg, thank you very much. To news this morning, the Department of Justice is working under a deadline to submit proposed redactions of the affidavit used to authorize the FBI search of former President Trump's Florida home. CBS's Katherine Herridge has more. Two sources close to the former president tell CBS News his legal team is thinking through how to handle security footage that captured the FBI search at Mar-a-Lago. As speculation builds about the contents of more than two dozen boxes, including 11 sets of classified records on this FBI inventory. The Justice Department now has less than a week to tell a federal judge in Florida what information should be blacked out from an affidavit that justified the search. They have to look through the entire document go over it with a fine-tooth comb, painstakingly, meticulously, and it's literally on a word-by-word -word basis. Tom Dupree is a former senior Justice Department official. I think Americans from all ideological sides want to understand what led the Justice Department to make this momentous, historic decision to go into Mar-a-Lago. People want to know. In this recent court filing, the Justice Department argued that blacking out sensitive investigative information would be so extensive as to render the remaining unsealed text devoid of meaningful content and would not serve any public interest. As the legal battle over the affidavit builds, former Vice President Mike Pence speaking to reporters in Iowa again laid out conditions for a possible appearance before the January 6th committee, saying he would consider a formal invitation. Catherine here at CBS News, Washington. And there is concern for both sides of the aisle on what the release document could entail and the fallout that could possibly ensue. A federal judge sentenced an ISIS terrorist who was part of the notorious terrorist cell nicknamed the Beatles to life in prison yesterday. El Shafi El Sheikh was found guilty in April for his role in the murders of four American hostages in Syria. The families of those hostages spoke outside the federal courthouse in Virginia after the sentencing. Let this sentencing make clear to all who dare to kidnap, torture, or kill any American citizen abroad that U.S. justice will find you wherever you are. Diane Foley noted that the sentencing came on the eighth anniversary of the beheading of her son, journalist James Foley. He was killed along with American journalists Stephen Sotloff and humanitarian aid workers Peter Kassig and Kayla Mueller. The Supreme Court ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade said abortion laws should be left to the states to decide. The issue is now the subject of legal fights across the country, including in Michigan and Arizona. Dina Demetrius reports from Los Angeles.
The Supreme Court's June 24th decision set off trigger laws that outlawed or severely restricted abortion access in at least a dozen states. In Michigan, 13 county prosecutors asked a judge to reinstate a 1931 ban on the procedure. Not issuing the injunction could not be more real, clear, present, and dangerous to the court. Judge Jacob Cunningham said enforcing the law would essentially criminalize a right held by women for half a century. This court finds it is overwhelmingly in the public's interest to let the people of the great state of Michigan decide this matter at the ballot box. The prosecutor's lawyer vowed to appeal. The judge is enforcing a non-existent law. There is no right to abortion under Michigan's Constitution right now. Another legal battle is unfolding in Arizona, where Attorney General Mark Brnovich is looking to bring back the state's near-total abortion ban, which dates back to the 1800s. The Supreme Court's decision has made an extremely safe, straightforward, and normal medical procedure inaccessible for so many people. Attorneys representing the state argue that unless they're repealed, laws passed by the legislature are valid no matter how old they are. The judge said she would expedite her ruling. In the meantime, Arizona abortion providers have limited services in the state. Dina Demetrius, CBS News, Los Angeles. And here in Wisconsin, the overturn of Roe is a big issue that both sides of each campaign for Wisconsin governor and the U.S. Senate seat have discussed ahead of the November midterm election. A massive fire sparked at a Massachusetts boatyard yesterday. It destroyed buildings and at least a dozen cars and boats. Fire engines doused the flames from above as a fire boat sprayed water from a dock. No word yet on any injuries or what could have caused the fire, witnesses told a local news station there, there were some kind of explosions that started it all. It was quite the spectacle for a Baltimore County residents and boaters who turned out to watch the implosion of a massive power plant yesterday. Massive indeed, the implosion went off without a hitch. Spectators watched from the water and surrounding area as the defunct power plant stacks came down in a heap of rubble, sending smoke and dust billowing into the air above. A new report from the CDC shows the resurgence of polio. It shows it may have been circulating faster than most originally thought. An SSM health doctor says it can be tricky since most polio cases go undetected and says it wouldn't be surprising to see some cases here in Wisconsin. However, the vaccine is 99% effective, so if you've had the shot, you are very protected. Federal health officials are boosting supply of the monkeypox vaccine. The CDC now reports more than 1,300 confirmed, 13,000, excuse me, confirmed cases nationwide, with New York and California topping the list of states with the most cases. As of yesterday, there are reported 53 cases of monkeypox in Wisconsin. That's according to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Still ahead, a new item is hitting the shelves just in time for Badger football games. We'll be right back. has what you need to protect and brighten your home with exterior stains by Cabot and paint from HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Save at Lowe's today. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our weekend special. All Smart Beds are on sale. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed. Ends Monday. You want to feel important, to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we joined the Army National Guard. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Senator Johnson's work and family define him. He and his brothers and sisters were raised by two loving parents with deep faith who taught him the value of work. As a young man, he shoveled driveways, mowed lawns, delivered papers, caddied, played Little League Baseball, and bailed hay on his uncle's farm. At 15, he got a dishwashing job at Walgreens Grill and became night manager before he was 16. After college, he married Jane, his wife of 45 years, and moved to Oshkosh to start a manufacturing business with Jane's brother. For the first year, the two traded 12-hour shifts. 
Over the next 30 years, Senator Johnson performed just about every task in that business. He installed and operated the equipment, loaded trucks, kept the books, and sold its products all over the world. His business didn't export jobs, it exported plastic. His quiet but extensive charitable work was never done for show, but simply to lend a helping hand, a value he learned from our parents. He's my brother and my best friend. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes, certainly. You know, we got some brand new woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4 Imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh, yeah. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4 Imprint, for certain. Back to school. It's not what it used to be. There are safety concerns, new protocols, all sorts of hurdles to navigate this new school year. That's why on News 3 Now this morning, we've taken the time to help you find solutions to any problem that may come your way. From safety in the classroom to helping you set up new routines and plans for school this fall. So join us each morning starting at 6.30 a.m. for our Back to School Report, only on News 3 Now this morning. Yeah, we're seeing cloud cover out there right now, a few showers, but overall most areas are just staying precip free. 65 degrees at the airport right now. Radar shows some activity starting to push up from the northeast, and that's kind of going to be the trend as we go in the afternoon hours. More development to the south or development overhead and kind of rotating up into southern Wisconsin. So expect that more in the afternoon. So bottom line here today, we're looking at showers and thunderstorms today. Fewer showers tomorrow, more actually sun. Dry and warm the first half of the work week with pushing up into the low 80s. And then our next shot comes towards the end of the work week, and that's still a lot in question, but it doesn't look as impressive as the one that we're having today. So still keep your plans open for next weekend, but it will be dry to start the work week there. All right, Greg, sounds good. Thank you very much. Governor Evers says he will be attending Madison's fourth annual Magic Pride Festival tomorrow at Warner Park. The celebration kicked off yesterday at the TDS headquarters on Junction Road with a pride flag raising. This event was organized by TDS's 2BU Associate Resource Group. TDS is an employee group that says it fosters a sense of community within the company by providing an, exclu an inclusive and safe environment and helping LGBTQ plus associates succeed in their lives. The Madison Children's Museum opened the city's first pay what you can restaurant. Little John's Lunchbox is a self-serve pay what you can cafe that the museum says aims to improve accessibility to healthy food for museum patrons. The museum says it wants to create a place that is open to any family who visits and where price is never a barrier. Both us and the Children's Museum both have an equally vested interest in the success of this, but neither of us are doing this to generate revenue. We're doing this just to make sure that the kids and families that come here can have access to a warm and healthy meal. Great stuff there. And the UW Bookstore is launching a new clothing line as we near the start of the football season. Over the years, red and white Badger Alls have become popular at Badger sporting events. Well, now the bookstore is getting a little creative. Yesterday, they launched a new cow-themed game day bib. You see it there. Right now, they are only available at the downtown location, but will be at other stores sometime next week. Go check those out. Okay, still ahead, a remarkable, remarkable story of a second chance on life. You don't want to miss this one. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. A little foggy out there. Julian is live with the weather when we come back. Locos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. During Toyota's national sales event, we're working hard to deliver new Toyotas so you can enjoy the last of summer. From hitting the rapids with a RAV4 hybrid, to kicking up sand in a Tundra, or camping out in a Highlander. Hey guys! Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. Come in.
today. Toyota, let's go places. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm, I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. Tony Evers, Joe Biden, they're two peas in a pod. Both career politicians in way over their head, failing the country and the state of Wisconsin. That's why I'm running. We need to have strong, proven executive leadership in Madison that can get things done and make this state as great as it can be. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And we're back and live again here at the Agora Art Fair here in Fitchburg. And folks, things are starting to pan out pretty nicely for us so far. Though we are still holding on to cloud cover, and we are going to be watching for more chances of seeing some rain. Now let's dive on in and what we're going to be expecting at currently as of right now. Cloudy conditions, but on top of it, we're going to start to see those temperatures, which are into those middle 60s, still climbing to those 70s by the time we get into the late morning hours and into our afternoon. This is what we're watching for as of right now. We can see that system, which is flowing in some showers, all across from Iowa into eastern parts of Illinois and for us here in southern Wisconsin. Now taking a closer look, this is what we're seeing as of right now. Showers are starting to develop just into the southwesterly corridor of Madison and northern parts of Dane County as well. We're going to be watching that develop over the next hour or two. It could start to see a bit more widespread showers, especially over the next three hours for us. Could potentially see some heavier rainfall or an isolated thunderstorm or two, but overall we're not going to be looking for scattered thunderstorms throughout the course of the day, but still be weather aware as we get in throughout the rest of our afternoon. As of right now, this is what we've seen over the last 24 hours. Significant rainfall totals for areas just west of Dane County and also south of I-39 as well. So we've ranged from almost close to two inches of rainfall and areas have seen around three inches as well over the last 24 hours, but that is also an estimate. Taking a look at our surface map, this is where the low is centered into central Iowa and is going to continue to push itself as we have that cold front coming into the back door, which could be bringing in some cooler temperatures, especially by the time we get into tonight. Now, outside of that, planning out the rest of today, if you're going to be heading to the Agora Art Fair, well, it starts at 10 and it is going to be really cloudy. Could see a couple of pop up showers, but overall, temperatures will be into those lower 70s throughout the course of the day. So even if you're heading to the farmer's market, uh, is also going to be a nice one on the surface. Just be mindful of the showers that will be on and off throughout the course of the day. And that's going to be into our three things we'll need to know. Tonight, we could see some fog possibly early heading into next week as well. And then we're looking at a dry stretch as we head into our Sunday. Now, not all of us are going to be dry heading into Sunday. As we plan out the rest of today, this is what we're going to see on our future track. Cloud cover is going to pretty much remain until we get into the later part of this afternoon. You can see a couple of pop up showers, but then as we get into around the dinner time hour, some clearing will start to produce, but some showers or storms could as well just east of Dane County. Going into tonight, it's going to be quiet, but then another flow of some pop up showers could be possible coming in from the lake breeze. Weekend forecast Sunday.
Sunday is going to overall be pretty dry. It will stay into the variable cloudiness, though. We'll see those upper 70s rolling in, so it won't necessarily be cooler, but still going to be pretty favorable as we close out the weekend. Heading into the next week, temperatures will rise just a bit more into those lower 80s, seeing a bit more sunshine. But again, we're going to be rather dry until we see Thursday and Friday, where we have a chance of seeing some more showers or even thunderstorms rolling back into the forecast for us. So once we're done through this late evening, Things going to be shaping up pretty well, but again, we're live here at Agora Art Festival. Things have been kicked off just yet. They're still setting up, but at 10 o'clock this morning until 5 p.m., rain or shine, as long as there's no thunderstorms, this event will be popping off once again, Shane. So that you go, uh, I'm going to have to just go ahead and say for whomever is wanting to do something this Saturday, definitely head on down here. All right, Julian, keeping us in check with the weather. Have fun out there. Stay dry and tell everyone hello for us. All right. Will do. Thank you, Shane. All right, Julian, we'll talk to you later. Now, we often hear that there are more important things in life than winning or losing a game. And if you need proof, here's CBS's Steve Hartman on the road. Not many people get to return to the scene of their death. But earlier this month, John Scully of Rochester, New York, stepped back into the gym where his time expired. That's the last thing I saw right there, 246. Do you recognize this at all? John oh, is a yeah. basketball referee. <laughs> they cut it, right? It's my jersey. Back in June, John was officiating a semi-pro game between the Jamestown Jackals and Toledo Glass City. That's him on the near side, seconds before his heart attack. The deadliest kind of heart attack, called a widow maker. Doctors told John's fiance, Donna, almost no one survives it. Yeah, 1% of the population, and he's that 1%. I was in the right place at the right time. I mean, that's why I'm here. Within seconds, a Toledo player named Miles Copeland rushed to his side and started doing CPR. I've never witnessed uh, someone just collapse, but uh, I knew what had to be done. Turns out the Toledo guard is also a Toledo firefighter, a brand new one just a year out of the academy. What does that feel like when all is said and done and you've saved a life? It's honestly one of the best feelings in the world. Few moments will ever come close, except maybe. Oh my God. This one. We invited Miles to stop by the gym. It was their first love meeting. You. I love you, man. Love you, you know I love you. <laughs> After quadruple bypass surgery, John says he's feeling better than ever and looks forward to getting back on the court. And if you're refing another game that Miles is playing in and he commits a foul, safe to say you'll look the other way? Safe to say not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's the guy got to do? <laughs> I love him, but he's not getting a fraudulent call. <laughs> Fine by Miles. Love you too, man. <laughs> because he's already had the best game of his career. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so happy. Steve Hartman, on the road in Jamestown, New York. It's just such a good story. Does not get better than that. Great stuff. Well, hey, stick with News 3 now all weekend. We'll have the day's top stories coming up for you tonight at 6 and 10. But first, a competition in Northeast Wisconsin that you don't want to miss. We'll be back after this. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what gutter shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Everything here is American-made. But it's tough competing with China. Ron Johnson's making it tougher. Johnson pushed for special tax breaks for outsourcing corporations. But voted against tariffs and sanctions on China's unfair trade practices. And when Johnson's big corporate PAC donor announced plans to create jobs outside Wisconsin, he defended them. Uh, it's not like we don't have enough jobs here in Wisconsin. The biggest problem. Senator Johnson, stop making it tougher on us. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. 
and the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.89% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. I'm going to miss you. At Prudential, we can't tell you when your kids will finally go out on their own. But we can at least make sure that when they do, you're ready. That's why millions rely on us for the rock-solid strength that helps you plan for and achieve your retirement dreams. Whichever road you take, who's your rock? Give every morning a fresh start with a Jimmy Dean Delights breakfast. They're chock full of protein and ingredients you want. From wraps to bowls to sandwiches, you'll never have the same old, same old again. We're delighted and hope you will try. IRS agent is waiting for your call back. When you've been scammed, when a business won't listen, when you get obstacles instead of solutions, don't give up. Call for action. I'm News 3 Now's Leah Lynchide. Our Call for Action team is here for you, exposing scams, mediating consumer disputes, and getting results. Contact us by phone or on channel3000.com. Call for action, only on News 3 Now. We're taking action for you. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9 on News 3 Now. Finally this morning, mullet mania has hit Northeast Wisconsin. Voting for the USA Mullet Championships. Yes, that is a thing. It's going on right now, and there are two kids in that area that are finalists. Paul Stino spoke with them to find out why they think their mullets are better than the rest. Beautiful from every angle. Axel's magnificent mullet showing off the fantastic flow with what he calls the mullet shake. With a name like Axel, I feel like it's kind of the perfect haircut for him. Axel's mom, Jessica, said her son began growing his mullet two years ago, encouraged by his uncle. Come my uncle promised me in my rugby Camaro. Well, I didn't want to pay for my own. <laughs> now Axel is hoping that mullet will win him the money. He's a finalist in the kids' division of the USA Mullet Championships, saying if he wins, he would donate the money. Really a major fund is to help the animals have better homes and to help poor people. Axel isn't the only one in Northeast Wisconsin with a marvelous mullet. Max Weibrach is from Lawrence and will compete in the teen category of the contest. His parents tell us that Max has had the mullet for about two years and that when he first asked for a mullet, they had told him no, but then secretly scheduled his hairstylist to give him a mullet. With voting ending on Friday, contestants are making their final pitches. He's so cute, and I love the cause behind what he's trying to do. The fact that he wants to donate his winnings is... It makes me emotional. It's just so heartwarming to know that that's what he would choose to do with that kind of money. In Brown County, Paul Stino, Local 5 News. Well, Axel is competing against 25 finalists in the kids' division, and Max is competing against 11 finalists in the teen division. Greg, any mullets back in the day? No, that was uh, the achy, breaky days. And I thought that was long gone and dead, but well, apparently now it's there's a whole contest for again. it. <laughs> I thought it was gone, but... Hey, before we go, how about one final check on our weather? Well, actually, it's uh, like I said, it's going to be rainy day today, off and on, showers, thunderstorms. Right now, it's not actually that bad outside, considering it's 66. Most areas are kind of really precip free, but it's starting to move in, starting to develop, so you can see that shower coming through Dane County right now. But more thunderstorm activity this afternoon. So, three things to know, like I said, showers, thunderstorms today, fewer showers tomorrow, dry and warm the first half of the work week, and then your next shot should probably come in maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and then next week it doesn't look too bad, but there are some chances coming up. All right, Greg, on top of it there, Julian is out live in Fitchburg. Make sure you go say hi to him. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. We'll see you back tomorrow.